welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are closing out the final week of july and opening up the first week of august it seems like i haven't talked to you in forever although it's been like just a week so many things have happened and yeah i'm just sitting down i have about like 10 minutes to film this video but i realize i need to film like three other videos so that's gonna be fun let me move my mic a little bit so yeah how are you all guys doing july flew by with a blink of an eye so i'm just catching up on everything i've started my new job everything is going great so far knock on wood uh but yeah excited to receive my first paycheck there in august so we will have a little bit more money to work with however august also brings a lot of other things my best friend is coming in from london to visit me it's going to be fun we're going to do a lot of stuff together also another friend coming in from sweden so yeah so many things the last month of summer enjoying the heat and everything so super excited for that but okay let's start with the expenses we did have quite a high expense week but usually that happens uh, at the end of the month uh have to you know, close out everything. So 44.19 for groceries, 12.49 for spending, 45.89 for dine out, 30.55 for health, 62.02 for beauty, 71.18 for birthdays. I have a couple of birthdays coming up in August and September, so that's where the budget goes. 32 in subscriptions, that's for my phone, both for June and July. 1281 for utilities that was for electricity and 300 for rent which is for july and that was 611 euros and 12 cents so as i said i was expecting it to be a high week but that is what usually happens okay so for the actual amounts we had four uh, 520 euros to work with with the paycheck that came in and groceries has a rollover of let's see five and six so that means we spent 44 here spending has a rollover of five six and seven so that's 13 and dine out doesn't it should be, actually have rollover let me check yeah it should have four euros oh i probably forgot to put them in great let me go grab some bills Okay, so I grabbed the four bills that were supposed to be in dine out. So that's 46 we spent. Perfect. So that's for this binder for the updates. And now let's see. So five went into gas, 75 into rent and 20 in utilities. And all of this we will be adding to miscellaneous. So let's see, five, 10, 11. There's a very loud car going by. I'm sorry for that because my window is open. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So 17 euros, so 5 plus 17, the actual amount was 22. So let's add those into miscellaneous. That's what we should have in here. So we are adding 17 and we should have 207 in here. Let's see if we do. 150, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Yes, 207. Miscellaneous. Perfect. And the other amount. So one month ahead got a 50. So that was 44 plus 13 plus 46 plus 5 plus 75 plus 20. 22 plus 50 is 275. So 520 minus 275 is 245. And all of the other amounts should stay the same. So 245 we're bringing here to short term sinking funds. We put 30 in beauty, 20 in Christmas, 10 into clothing, 40 in health, and 20 into travel. So 30 plus 20 plus 10 plus 40 plus 20 is 120. So 245 minus 120 is 125. We're bringing that down here to long-term sinking funds. We put five into babies and car each, 25 in deposit, and five each in pets, retirement, technology, and weddings. So five plus five plus 25 plus five plus five plus five plus five is 55. 
perfect. So 125 minus 55 is 70. And all of that went to our savings challenges. Perfect. That means we have everything corresponding to what we needed. I will film a July closeout video after this, uh, but I will quickly grab the August booklet and we will set up August week one. So let me flip through that. I will also show you August's update in uh, the monthly closeout video and the uh, monthly layout, but now we'll just focus on the weekly um, paycheck. So this week we will have 600 euros to work with for the first week of August. We are putting 50 in groceries, 20 in spending and 50 in dine out. We're gonna put five into gas, 100 into rent. We're putting 10 in miscellaneous and 50 in one month ahead. So in total for bills and cash envelopes, that is 285 euros. So 600 minus 285 is 315. Bringing that 315 up here to short-term sinking funds, we are putting 40 into beauty, 20 into Christmas, 10 into clothing, 40 into health, five in holidays, and 25 into travel. So 40 plus 20 plus 10, plus 40 plus five plus 25 is 140. 315 minus 140, we have 175 left. We're bringing that down to long-term sinking funds. And we are putting five into babies, five into car, 50 in deposit. We are putting five into pets, 10 in retirement and five in technology and weddings each. So we have five plus five plus 50 plus five plus 10 plus five plus five. That's 85. And we have 175 minus 85, that's 90. And all of that 90 is gonna go into our savings challenges. Perfect, so it's gonna be more fun to work with. And that means we have zero euros left to budget, which means that each year of our income has a place to go into our budget. Perfect. So tomorrow I will be back with a cash stuffing of this paycheck. Then I have a cash condensing video and then I will have a July closeout August setup video where we're going to go through all the expenses and changes in my budget. Also, we're going to count the grand uh, totals for the sinking funds, etc., etc. So stay tuned for those videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. We have fun over here. I'll I wish you a wonderful August. I hope the last month of summer is the greatest of them all for you and yeah i hope to see you next time bye